Hello, I'm Michael, a member of the Baltic crew, and I'm going to talk to you about Survey. Survey is a group show featuring 15 early career artists put together by Joe's Arts Organization. They were selected by 50 more established artists and sort of put together in this group show format and they've traveled around the country exhibiting in several different locations. This is one of the uh, featured artists, her name is Emma Cousins. She has actually responded to the title of the show, which is Survey, and she's made this um, wall mural on in situ, it took about 10 days to make, and it shows a series of women each surveying other women's bodies. She thinks of this slightly like a musical score. Uh, it's almost like a language of its own. In other works, you can see similar things. She's got these small works on paper, uh, made sort of with paint and with ink. Um, and behind us at the other end of the gallery, we have a larger painting, um, again, of people sort of pinching, assessing each of his bodies. And this is an artwork by Anna Rosinski called The Movie Makers, and it follows an amateur group of uh, filmmakers called the Pendle Movie Makers. And the artwork is part documentary, part art film, and using archive footage and footage shot uh, originally by herself, Anna has made a work that looks at ageing, looks at sort of British community, um, looks at changing technology through uh, time. It's quite endearing to watch. It's um, an interesting artwork and it shows a group of people in society that might not often be heard. This is a sculpture by Joe Fletcher Orr called Soft Lad, as you can see. Um, I quite like this work because it's quite funny, it is playful, and it looks at um, art institutions as a whole. Sort of the short story behind this work is that as a young child, um, Joe would be taken to contemporary art galleries by his dad, not to sort of appreciate art perhaps, but they'd go to sort of laugh at how difficult um, contemporary art can be to access sometimes um, and to laugh at some of the odd things and bizarre things that you can find. Um, it's interesting that Joe's now gone forward and become a contemporary artist uh, and he's made sort of a work that again is quite playful, quite cheeky. Uh, Soft Lad is an expression in Liverpool um, which sort of suggests so someone's not very bright, um, and it's something his mum will call him, and this is actually his mum's handwriting, and he's sort of brought his mum in, he's brought this nice sort of family moment, these family connections into the art gallery in a playful and sort of harmless way. This series is called Ownership Boxes, and it's by Will Sheridan Jr. Essentially what he's done is go to some Mayfair fashion stores, pick up some flat pack cardboard boxes, reconstruct them, and then make his own sort of second-rate, low-rent, perhaps, fashion shoot, uh, using friends, um, I think, in an artist studio. On the boxes, you have these sort of quite funny, um, quite posed uh, images of sort of young people just lounging around, maybe trying to be fashion. And it kind of critiques uh, the fashion industry as we know it, the glitz and the glam of it all. This is a work by Chris Alton called A Hollywood Film in Which Climate Change is Averted. Um, you can see that just up there. And I quite like this work for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I love the aesthetics of the piece. I love how it's made. It references uh, trade union banners. It is sort of clean, it's precise, and I just really kind of enjoy looking at it. Um, secondly, I like the slightly tongue-in-cheek message it uh, sort of suggests. I think what Chris is trying to say is that wouldn't it be great if there was a Hollywood film in which the narrative showed a group of people working together to avert climate change. But obviously that would never happen because that doesn't seem like a very sexy subject to us. But climate change is one of the biggest issues that's facing humanity at the moment. And perhaps huge media making organisations like Hollywood should make films about that. You know, we should be more concerned as a, as a, as a group of people, as all people about climate change. Um, so maybe Hollywood should make a film in which climate change is averted.